everybody, welcome to another video. I am in Abu Dhabi in the United Arab Emirates and today I have to check out of this hotel and uh, go to a different hotel because it was fully booked today. <laughs> I, I was about to book another night here because my flight is leaving tomorrow but then it was fully booked so I have to go to a different hotel for one night and then fly out of the United Arab Emirates. So in this video you're gonna follow along on a flight out of the United Arab Emirates and in to Egypt. I always wanted to go to Egypt and see the pyramids there. Pyramid of Giza. And I also missed the breakfast because I was so tired yesterday. I slept for so long and I missed the breakfast here. So I'm starting to feel a bit... Oh, so I didn't have anything to eat. So I'm starting to feel shitty. So we're going to have a little bit of sugar <laughs> that I found by the kettle over here. We have to pack the computer. Oh, I do have some almonds. Oh. Everything has to go inside of this bag here. Outside of the hotel now, we're going to Windham. It's supposed to be a five minute walk down the street here. Uh, the other day I actually went swimming in the sea or the ocean. It was like a jacuzzi. Abu Dhabi. Really hot. <laughs> and it's a deep frying today as well. Very good. Let's see, uh, look at all these tall buildings here. I think traveling is my drug. It's nice, you always do something, you go somewhere else, you have to move, <laughs> go and see something here, find your way around in the city. It's nice actually. I never think. When I travel, I just don't think much, I just go. If I stay in one place for too long, I start thinking about a bunch of weird shit. It's supposed to be here, Windham. I don't know which building. Maybe this one here. Here it is, Howard Johnson by Windham. Now we are inside Windham, going to the eighth floor. Windham, it was like a four minute walk from the other hotel I was in. 802. here look there's a bunch of sand they're probably about to build a huge hotel here right there I would guess I have to eat I'm so hungry oh, oh, oh. go do this hello one million dollar check two million dollar check Dear Howard Johnson, I would like to send you a great success. Very good. Very good job here. Very good soap. I got out to get the bunch of snacks and then came back again. It's already night time. I don't know what I did. I went to eat and then I sat inside here all day. We have to go to sleep and then get ready for the flight tomorrow. Flight tomorrow to Cairo in Egypt. <laughs> so see you in the morning, my friends. Hello, my friends. It's the next day already and uh, I've just been waiting to head to the airport. So now I have to pack my bag again. <laughs> we have to pack again! 
I got my bag, took an Uber and started heading to the Abu Dhabi International Airport and also started looking for a hotel for the night in Cairo. Alright, good. This is the Abu Dhabi International Airport. So uh, this time I think I have to check into the flight actually. Usually I can uh, check in on my phone but I couldn't do that with this flight company. So I had to find the flight company and then uh, check in by the counter, get our tickets and then head out of the United Arab Emirates. The airport. Many flight companies let you check in online and get a boarding pass straight to your phone. But some don't have that. Then you have to stand in line and check in at the counter with the person. Unless there is a machine for checking. I try to avoid checking in at the counter. Because that's where they can ask to weigh your hand luggage. If it's too heavy they can charge you a fee. But if you check in online you can basically bring as heavy hand luggage as you want. Because nobody can check it really. Unless they check it at the gate. But that has never happened in the past hundred flights I've been on. I was on my way into the flight and had just booked a hotel in Cairo for the night. So as always, I put a bookmark in my map so I would know exactly where to go after landing in Cairo. I was suspecting that I would not have mobile data or Wi-Fi in Egypt, so I also put a bookmark of the hotel in my offline maps to be sure I would know where to go. I usually buy a SIM card to have mobile data, but wasn't sure if I would buy it at the airport this time. We took off from the airport in Abu Dhabi and about to go across the Arabian Peninsula past Saudi Arabia and Israel and land in Cairo in Egypt. Hello, I'm inside the toilet now and uh, I think we are going about Saudi Arabia and heading into Egypt. It's so loud in here, I don't know why, usually it's not this loud in the airplane. The distance didn't look that far, but the total flight was 4 hours and we were about to pass by the very south part of Israel and get into Egypt. I had to fill out an arrival form and then paid $25 to get a visa on arrival that would last for 30 days. You have probably heard what is happening and has been happening in Israel in the recent decades and also now. The area marked in red is Palestine, not regarded as a country but still inside Israel. The region is home to more than 5 million Muslims. They speak Arabic, have Islam as their religion and mosques as their place of worship. In Israel on the other hand, they speak Hebrew, have Judaism as their main religion and pray in synagogues. The conflict is about who the land belongs to. Israel thinks that the land in Palestine belongs to them and vice versa. In this map you can see Israel marked in blue as the only country in the region that not has Islam as the religion and Arabic as language. This certainly contributes to the conflict as well. Now we have to take a bus into the actual airport. I got the visa on arrival and headed out to the crazy scenery. I also had not bought a SIM card so I didn't have mobile data or Wi-Fi. And would have to take a taxi instead of an Uber. How much is it gonna cost? Come, 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 come. How much is it gonna cost? Egyptian loan? Yeah. Egyptian loan? How much? Two hundred. What's your name? Ahmed. Ahmed. What's and your it's, name? And I can pay it with card because I have no cash. Okay, no problem. What's your name? William. William, where are you from? Sweden. Sweet? Nice oh, people. And you, where do you come from? Sweet, uh, Bremovich is sweet. Yes, yeah, yeah. sweet. Where do you come from? Yeah. Egypt. <laughs> Egypt. I usually make sure I get some cash and a SIM card right away, but for some reason I didn't do it. Maybe I was just lazy. 
خد منه من الحساب الاخر الجديد اه البارونز قصر الفندق البارونز You know Baron Hotel. You know what it is. Yeah. You know uh, Baron Hotel. You know Baron. Baron. Yeah. Fondo, yeah. Fondo. You know, yes. Yeah. I had the directions in my phone, but the driver went off course, and I was getting a bit suspicious. I had first asked if I could pay with card, and he said yes. But now it seemed like he wanted me to get cash or something. I'm not going in here. What is this? He wants me to go in here. We stopped her somewhere in the middle of nowhere. I was getting like scared. <laughs> he, uh, we're going into some place, and he wanted me to. Uh, they, I paid here with my card. It was com so confusing. Like, yeah, the driver is still in there, and I had to go. I paid like 300 Egyptian pounds, like we agreed on, and I got the receipt. <laughs> <laughs> and I used my credit card that I don't have much money in so but I think we're about to go now yeah <laughs> we got back into the car and I had to tell him the directions again I also already knew that 300 was too much for this ride but I really just wanted to get to the hotel now I'm here at the hotel and uh, at the hotel you have to uh, scan your bag I just saw the first thing I saw at the hotel here hello My first impressions of Egypt was that it seemed a bit unsafe, but now I was inside the hotel and the hotel was really nice. So I have arrived finally. I was getting a bit confused in the car, like when he wanted to stop. He was taking like a detour, a long detour, and then um, I was, I didn't know what he wanted to do. And then I had to pay. <laughs> <laughs> with a with my card in some machine at some travel agency and then uh, he ended up taking me here this place is huge it's like a big apartment but it's a hotel and uh, let's see what was out here hundred dollars per night here not bad for this huge place but I do miss the United Arab Emirates. One bed bounce and I'm out of breath. I have been running lately, just walking a lot. So we will continue this video tomorrow until I find a place where I can stay for a bit. Uh, that is the plan for now. So we're gonna take an Uber into the downtown area now. In the next video, I'm gonna make a really interesting video. <laughs> it's like I came uh, back 30 years in time. I went from the future back 30 years. Bye bye! I got an Uber again and we started driving. But after passing a few buildings, the driver told me I couldn't film anymore. Who lives in the palace? We don't know uh, where he lives, oh. but uh, this palace uh, to management. He's president? Or? Yes, oh. our president. Okay. It's his palace. It's his palace, yeah? Yes. Oh. You cannot take photos of it? No. no, no. Oh. We were heading into the downtown area of Cairo, a massive city with 22 million people in the metropolitan area. Everybody, I am in Cairo. <laughs> Quite a different scenario. I am here inside, actually, a hostel to meet some people, but I have my private room. Uh, somehow, oh, I got this room with three beds, but I only need one bed. <laughs> but a desk also, so I can edit some videos. And I was speaking to some people here at this hostel. It's nice to meet some people. But let's go out on the street here in Cairo, in Egypt. So 
so this is what it looks like here in Cairo. What is this here? Look. Uh, yeah. If you want to see the next video and what happens in the downtown area of Cairo, please subscribe to the channel. And also please leave the video a thumbs up if you liked it. You can also post a comment. But thanks for watching and see you in the next one.